Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Omega Red playthrough. This is part 16 in this episode. We're here with a brand new team member. It's finally time. We have ourselves some power on our side. You all thought it was a joke, okay? Okay, I'm sure everyone thought I was kidding. I was not kidding. Okay, we have ourselves a Stunfisk, okay? It's time. Yes, I used the random trade person to get me a Stunfisk and I couldn't be happier. Look at this absolute blob. Perfect. We are rocking a modest nature Stunfisk with Thunderbolt, Mud Bomb, Discharge, and Muddy Water. Moveset isn't the best, okay. I forgot that uh, Stunfisk doesn't learn Alf Power by level up, so we're still rocking Mud Bomb. Hopefully we'll learn Alf Quake at some point. But we have Discharge for the Paralyzed Chance, we now have ourselves a good Electric type. Good is debatable, but it's the Pokemon that I kind of want to use. Gives us a little bit of defense for the team as well, which we didn't actually have before. But, either way, alongside that we did also pick up Fly, and while I didn't catch myself a Flying type Pokemon, I did decide to have some fun with it. Originally, I caught myself a Spearow, right? Taught it Fly, for. Well, if this Pokemon is just going to be for Fly anyway, I kind of want to find a Pokemon that can learn Fly and Cut. So I, I, I did a nice casual thing, launched up Cerebi, you know, to search for which Pokemon could learn Cut and Fly. And I saw Tapu Koko was in the list. So, um, yeah, this is, this is our HM user. If it's only here for HMs and not battles anyway, why not have it be a fancy Pokemon? So, uh, we have ourselves a Tapu Koko with Fly and Cut. Uh, yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, I am using a Stunfisk on my team to fight battles, and a Tapu Koko as my HM slave. I have this perfectly fought out, okay? Perfectly. There is nothing wrong with my plans. But last episode, we did go ahead, beat Erica, we came down here into the Team Rocket area, and we even battled this person over here with the level 79 Hitmon top and Tyrog and whatever, which was nuts. But for the time being, we're going to keep Stunfisk in front, because I want to use Stunfisk. Uh, we did also do the battle over here, meaning we are ready to go to the next floor and make our way towards Giovanni. I think it's time. Go ahead, battle me. We also have some items we can get here. Boss said you can see ghosts with the Sylph Scope. That is the reason we are here. We're going to grab ourselves a Sylph Scope, then we're going to go to Lavender Town, and we're going to go and find out some horrible backstory that's terrifying, and then who knows where we're going to go from there. I would love to see the path sort of diverge a little bit from the originals, but I imagine that's going to happen as Cinnabar. I think Cinnabar is the time when they really get the opportunity to let fan games shine in a way, because the Orange Islands appear there, and you can do whatever you want with the Orange Islands. You really can. So that, that could get fun at that point. For now though, we're just going to go ahead and swap right out of there, because I am not letting my Stunfisk die, okay? It's not happening. Not Stunfisk. Not power. It's not happening. <laughs> to be honest, part of me was joking when I said Stunfisk the first time, but like, the more I thought about it, I was like, I kind of want a ground type. So I was thinking about taking Crookedile all that time ago with Sandy Gas, and I was like, I kind of want a ground type. And then I was also like, well, I also want an electric type. This is the best of both worlds. What could be wrong? I'm not getting rid of Marsh Shadow, so... It's the perfect Pokemon, kind of. I'm sure there's a better Pokemon that can learn a Ground-type move and is an Electric-type. Pretty sure, like, an Electivire with Earthquake would be absolutely better, but... An Electivire isn't a stunned fist, you know? It doesn't have that same pizam. Like, look at that, when it comes out, look at that absolute blobness. That's what I look for in a Pokemon. <laughs> and to be honest, it's not that bad. Okay, it can't one-shot a Grimer, right? Okay. Maybe I'll stop talking. Maybe, maybe it's time for me to stop talking. Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll stop. Either way, Stunfisk. There it is. The power itself. Let's go ahead and uh, try and guess some of these items. Victory Belt, what are you doing? We have Flamethrower, we're fine. So... Originally, we'd have, like, that one rare candy, some potions. You know, we've got the lift key in this area. But maybe, just maybe, there'll be a Megastone. As this city seems to be the area where every single Megastone is located, other than the Garchomp bite. I'm pretty sure that's the only Megastone we we've seen outside of this town. 
Celadon City is absolutely nuts for Mega Stones. So maybe there's one down here. They've teased me enough. There's gotta be one. Uh, I'm pretty sure the best way to do this is to go down and get the lift key first. I could be wrong. Uh, let's go ahead, battle you. Do I really want to use Stun Fist for everything? Kinda. I kinda do. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. How? How? The other people haven't left from upstairs. They're still up there. How did you find that out? Radios? You're Team Rocket. You don't have radios. Okay? You have, like... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Close combat. That's scary. Again, no defense drop. We actually have close combat on our Marshadow. What I really want to do is find out if there is some sort of different effect to close combat. Maybe it's a lower base power, but it doesn't drop defenses? I feel like if it was its original base power, it wouldn't be doing as little damage as it is now. So maybe it's been... Well, I wouldn't say it's been nerfed, right? It's been changed, is the best word for it, if that's the case. Because I feel like it's still good. I want to find out. It's time. Marshadow. Show me this move. Is it any different? Base 20. Well, sorry. Base 120. The foe is 4 up close. It also cuts the user's defensive stats. It just doesn't tell me. I wish we had a good way to test. But I don't think there's ever going to be a time when we get hit, use close combat, and then get hit again by the same move. I mean, in theory, it could happen. If we go up against, like, a wild Pokemon at, like, level 17 or something. That could work. We could test it. I'm fine with testing. TM21 Dragon Dance! Huh. That is not what I was expecting. That is not the usual frustration. Dragon Dance Marshadow? Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh, 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 I want that. Yes, I want that. Who wouldn't want that? That's OP. Hello? What's the next power-up punch? Drain punch? Oh, if we could get drain punch. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Can Gary just learn crunch, by the way? It can't. That makes me really upset. Because, you know, the mega evolution aspect of it. It, it kind of annoys me that I can't learn Crunch by the TM. And yet, yeah, Salazzle and Venusaur can. I kind of get Venusaur, but like... It's a little bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying. Either way, though... A good TM that I was not expecting. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this item over here. We found ourselves a red candy. That's the usual item that's there, I'm pretty sure. So that's not changed. It is helpful, however. Stunfisk is a very hard Pokemon to level, okay? It's, uh, it's gonna come in useful. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it's a hard Pokemon to level. I can skip past you, right? I can. Let's not do it, though. Let's battle him. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs or else. I did not swap my low HP Stunfisk out of the front. Maybe we're fine. Maybe we can- actually, you know what? A tackle would probably take us out. Let's not do that. Let's just swap into Marshadow. A dragon dance? Marshadow. Does that sound broken? Okay, I am not really intimidated as such. I guess we're just close combat. I don't want to miss the jump kick. And I mean, we have the close combat anyway, why not use it? Oh, I still have the EXP share off. Because yes. Training the Stun Fisk took way too long, okay? I don't want to talk about how long training the Stun Fisk took, but uh, it was in the hours, okay? Spent actual hours doing that for some reason, and I didn't want all of my Pokemon to be like level 80 by the time it was done, so I made sure the EXP show was off. Don't get me wrong, it'd be very, very easy to tear through this game with a just straight up level 80, but that's not how I want to do it. Let's let everyone get a little bit of the XP love, and then let's turn the XP share back on, as we are still, like... Yeah, like five or six levels down, which is kind of surprising. Especially as I just trained everyone. 
But either way, I mean, if we're still one-shotting, I don't think we need to level up. Playing with a little bit of a handicap is fine. Oof, taken down. He said oof. He gets it. He gets the phrase. Uh, give me my EXP share on, please. Thank you very much. There we go. What do we have over here? Black glasses. Do we have a single dark type move? Because we don't have, like, any held items. No. No. I can't wait till we get Warfall and Surf. Because we have, like, the perfect replacement moves there. We get rid of Skull for Surf, we get rid of Warfall for Arctale. Just thinking ahead. That'll be good. Uh, no. 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 We don't have a single dark type move. If we could get ourselves, like, a Miracle Seed, Charcoal, stuff like that, that'd be good. Pretty sure we could buy that earlier, at some point. Maybe we should go grab some of those. TM49 Dark Pulse! Okay, well, we just found a Dark type move. Um, okay. Alright, <laughs> sure thing. Who can learn it? Just Marshadow? But Marshadow has Stab Shadow Punch that can never miss. And that's kind of nice. So, uh, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be giving that to anyone. A little bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, let's just slap Ninetales in the front here. The elevator doesn't work? Who has the lift key? I wonder. Who does have the lift key? Giovanni probably has a lift key. I bet he does. However, he's also through the lift, so that's a little bit of an issue. But do you have a lift key? It'd be kind of funny if he didn't. Imagine if he just gave us a Mega Bracelet. Instead of giving us the lift key, he just slapped on a Mega Bracelet. That'd be the funniest change to the game. It would make no sense, okay? There's no way it's gonna happen. But it'd be hilarious, okay? Oh, imagine if the lift key doubled as a Mega Bracelet. Please? Hold on, am I predicting things? Please? <laughs> <laughs> be the worst. There's no way we don't get it from the rival or the professor, okay? But still, it'd be hilarious. Just a Team Rocket grunt is like, Oh no, my Mega Ring, I dropped it on the floor with the Lift Key. Oh, oh well. Lift Key get. Giovanni is going to be interesting because, to be honest, he's a gym leader later. And knowing what team he's going to have is going to be nice. So, let's go ahead. Uh, check the floor above and grab the items up here. How do I do this? I've done this so many times, I should know this off by heart. First things first, we grab this. Moonstone. Not bad. Not bad. Good item to have. Not the Mega Stone I'm looking for in this place. X Speed. That's pretty trash tier. Uh, we get ourselves this item as well. TM12 Iron Defense. I don't think we're going to give this 21, but we'll see if anyone can learn it. Also, can anyone learn Air Slash? I was wondering if Stunfisk could learn Air Slash. I don't know why. Can Stunfisk learn Rock Slide? Yes. So can Marshadow. Okay. We do have Dig. We do have Dig. We can always give Dig to Stunfisk. Iron Defense Salazzle? Iron Defense Gyarados? Why? Huh? Energy Ball can only be learned by Venusaur. Skulls can only be, well, can be learned by Ninetales, which is just weird. And let's go ahead and grab some more items. Which way am I going for these? Here? Then... I want to go this way, right? Then here. Then here. And then I want the item that's over this way, so we go this way. We find ourselves a super potion. Well, that is not as good as I was expecting. That is significantly worse than anything else in this area so far. And it's probably the most annoying one to get. Oh well. Uh, let's check up here as well, just in case. I don't really want to skip any areas, because I don't want to miss Mega Stones. Hype Potion. Okay. You know what? Let's actually use that. Or use Mega... Or Mega Milk? Not quite what I was thinking of. Moomoo Milk. <laughs> we use a Moomoo Milk on Stunfisk. Get him nice and healed up. As he is the star of the show, what happened to the HP bar there? 
Will it do it again? Why does the 99 look different to the 99 after the slash? Why is there an extra white square? I'm confused. Oh well. That's a little bit weird. Uh, anyway, back to Stunfisk being in front, as is the star of our show. Let's go, Stunfisk. Intruder alert. You don't say. You don't say. I want my Team Rocket disguise. I want to, you know, blend in, sneak through, not have to battle any of these people. That'd be great. Mud Bomb. Can we one-shot a Grimer? Pretty sure that's a no, we already tried this. Okay, I was hoping the last time we got a low roll. No, we didn't. However, when the opposing Pokemon uses Harden, does it really matter? Not really. I do want to make sure we don't have both Discharge and Thunderbolt on this moveset. Obviously having both is a little bit counterintuitive. Don't get me wrong, Discharge is nice for the Paralyzed Chance. In fact, I think I might even keep Discharge over Thunderbolt, just because of the Paralyzed Chance, but we don't need two electric moves. Instead, getting a better move would be nice. Uh, we're about to hit you for four times super effective damage, Krogon, so you're gone. Also, why aren't you a Toxicroak? Why isn't it a Muck and a Toxicroak? Level 59. 59. That's a high level. Alright, that is a very high level. Spinarak? This person had three completely unevolved poison types. Put this person as a gym leader. Right now. Gym leader them. They're perfect. All he needs is a, like, five full restores that he just spams on his first Pokemon. Qualified gym leader right there. Team Rocket Grunt goes down. I can't do it. What can't you do, my dude? Silphscope? Hm, I don't know where it is. Suspicious. You don't? I'll ask this person, it's fine. Why did you come here? Well, to ask you a question, do you know where the Sylph Scope is? Probably not. It is the Grunt. The Grunts don't know anything in this world. I don't know why any of these Grunts are even working for Team Rocket. It doesn't make any sense. Flare Blitz Combuscan. Okay. Alright, buddy. No recoil. Hello? Broken. Broken. Why am I not using a Combuscan? Mirror move. Muddy water. Look at these strategies here. Do you mind? That did more than Flare Blitz. That's wild. That is actually wild. Our powerhouse grows. Look at that, look at those stat increases. Triangle and Flail. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't think Flail is better than having Thunderbolt, to be honest. I really don't. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna not learn Flail. Um. Good move. But only on, like... It's, it's maybe not that good of a move, actually. It's not that good on anything. <laughs> A couple of gimmick Pokemon, sure, who like Focus Sash, but other than that, no. No, not at all. Tremulian, if you would get bopped real quick, I would appreciate it. I genuinely don't know if you would go down to a Scald, but I don't want to risk it, so we'll stop tail. But Flare Blitz, kind of powerful. A lot of moves don't seem to be working the way they're intended. Uh, Flare Blitz has no recoil, close combat, isn't dropping defenses. Storm Floral, the other move we got, doesn't restore health. There's probably a few more. It's probably because they were added in, they're not in this base game of Fire Red. I imagine moves like Giga Drain will have their intended effect work perfectly, but Flare Blitz was added in because it's 4th gen. You know, Torn Floral just doesn't exist. Let's not forget that one. Tom Floral is not meant to exist. It does make me wonder what the other star's moves are. Because we got Tom Floral because we chose Venusaur, right? I don't even know if it applies to all stars or just the original three. There's a lot we don't know. It could be that 
Meganium doesn't learn Torn Floral, and it's just Venusaur. Because in my head, I kind of imagined it as a little bit of a replacement to Frenzy Plant. So... I don't know if it's going to be for all stars, or if we can still get Frenzy Plant. Because I don't see why they would just remove that. It's a good move to have. I am very curious. Uh, either way, we don't need to be here anymore. We have the lift key. I think it's time to fight Giovanni and grab ourselves a self scope. Let's go. We want the fourth floor, I think. Pretty sure. Rocket hideout B4F. We have an item over here, which is a calcium. Can we give that to Stunfisk to boost its power? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Our Pokemon are all fully EV trained. Yeah. Gonna try them, though. Uh, that's all of our special attackers. Well, we can sell it, I guess, which is not the worst. Uh, for now, though, do we have to battle both of these people? I think we do. That kind of sucks. Let's put Venusaur in front. Venusaur hasn't seen any screen time yet. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Oh, I see it. I see the beauty. I completely get it. Evil can be fun. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing to say? Maybe, but I completely get it. Forget the money. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Um, let's go ahead and use Torn Floral. I know it's not as strong as Double Edge, but Double Edge sadly still has the recoil, unlike, you know, Flare Blitz. Sadly. <laughs> Why can't we have good moves with no side effects? Or no negative side effects, I should say. I mean, we have close combat. I, I, I guess it's fine. Gunk shot from an Ekans at level 59. Why did that do so much damage? Hello? Ekans? You good? Is that a choice banded Ekans that has no effect from that either? Maybe. You never know. Arbok. Okay, well, we're not staying in because that's scary. And scary is bad. And we're going to fight this with our own poison type, because that way we resist his moves. As long as he doesn't have Earthquake, we are fine. Barbok doesn't learn Earthquake by level up, so we should be golden. Should be, is the key word there. But we have a Soft Flamethrower, which I believe is a 2 KO. No real worries. I am interested to see the level jump that Giovanni is going to have. Like, is he just going to be immediately, like, level 70? Because, I mean, some of the trainers in here, that first one in particular was level 79, right? And I did fight another trainer, I'm trying to remember where I fought the other trainer, but it was while I was training up Stunfisk, and I think it was while I was using the BS chair. One trainer did jump all the way to level 79 as well. So... Seems like 79 is a number for something, because it's happened twice in this playthrough. But I'm not sure why. I don't know if 79 is like the Elite Four point, and therefore like a cap area? Could be. But that feels a little bit low considering the crazy levels we have right now. I mean, let's be honest, Giovanni would normally have like what, a level 35, 36? No, it would be like 40? Either way, a lot lower. So, maybe? I guess that sort of fits. That's like 15 levels lower. Like, well, 20 levels lower. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't fit. Uh, I do want to wreck handy up Gyarados. And my reasoning for this is it levels up the slowest for some reason. So we'll just go ahead and boost him a level while he's just leveled up. That way it makes everyone even out a little bit more and fits my OCD just that little bit better. And we'll put you in front and battle you. I know you. You ruined our plans at Mount Moon. Did I, though? I didn't really do anything at Mount Moon. Team Rocket didn't do anything at Mount Moon. They're just sort of there, standing around. Being in the way, to be honest. Wouldn't really say I ruined anything. Took a fossil, which I still haven't done anything with. Actually, that's a point. We have cut now. We could probably go back to a lot of areas. For example, we could go back to Pewter City with Fly, and we could probably grab ourselves an old Amber. 
And maybe there's even an Aerodactylite in that room. Or we can probably purchase it, actually. I can't remember the ones we could purchase and not purchase. Aerodactylite might have been one of the ones we could purchase. Yeah. I think it was purchasable, never mind. Still, though, we could get the Aerodactyl for it. That could be another fly user, I guess. Although I do kind of want to use Tapu Koko, because... I don't know why, I just find it funny that you could fly on a Tapu Koko. It's a little bit like Pidgey, you know, you can fly on a Pidgey. You shouldn't be able to fly on a Pidgey, it's too small, but you can. And Tapu Koko, like, it's weird to imagine someone, because... It's weird to imagine how you would fly on a Tapu Koko, because I imagine Tapu Koko flying as, like, you riding a surfboard through the air. Actually, you know what, that sounds amazing. I'm so happy we have a Tapu Koko as our fly user, that's incredible. Either way, though, oh, so we have an item. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Huh? Huh? Why? Why there? What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You in front. We're healing you. It's time. It's time, isn't it? Why? What? Why is it there? I mean, they predicted it. Well, they foreshadowed it, not predicted it. They foreshadowed that there would be a Mega Bracelet in this town, okay? They definitely did that. I'm not going to deny that. But why there? What? Huh? It feels like such a weird place to put it. Alright, it's time to heal. We're about to go into a real battle. I guess it's because Giovanni is going to have the first Mega Evolution? So we're about to see the first Mega against us? So they wanted it to be an even playing field? But why wouldn't they have us fight the Mega, then we get the Mega Bracelet? Because then it's like, hey, Giovanni gives this to you. Because of reasons. I'm so confused. My brain hurts. I'm trying to think out why this is here. I mean, I, I, I slightly get it. If he has a Mega Evolution. If Giovanni now does not have a Mega Evolution, I'm just going to be very confused. Either way, let's go Mega Evolve against him. So, I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. Do you just tell everyone that walks in here this? That sounds like at least your arrest. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Then again, if it was just a normal police officer that came in here, let's be truly honest, would they be as strong as this 10 year old that just got his Pokemon the other day? Nah. Nah. Free Pokemon? How do I Mega Evolve? What am I doing? Uh. Uh. What do I press? Uh. Ah, star. Okay, got it. Right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that, that took, <laughs> that was the last button I pressed, by the way. Let's try this Mega Evolution stuff, shall we? I'm new to this, apparently. That is an animation. Ooh, that's the curse effect. Why do we get cursed? Please don't tell me we get cursed. That's just a, an animation effect, right? I sure hope so. Or else that's really bad. <laughs> uh. About sending Gibble. Wow, that's... Terrifying. Glad we, uh, glad we mega evolved for this gibble. Whew. It's making me work up a sweat. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna hurt. Ah, gibble. Um, why not? It's just gonna throw this out here. Why not Garchomp? Um, I didn't turn on easy mode, right? Just making sure. And Nita Reno. Of course. Not his trusty Nito King. No, 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 that'd be far too strong for us of our new Mega Evolution. No, 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 we have to fight Nita Reno. Whoa there, one step at a time. Um. Oh, Flatter. Okay, that's annoying. That's genuinely annoying. I don't like that. Oh, that, ma <laughs> that makes the Mega Evolution symbol bounce up and down. <laughs> Why? Why does it do that? <laughs> That's one of the stupidest mechanics I've ever seen. How does something glitch that badly? What? 
All right, we're not gonna let this Pokemon faint though. We are gonna swap out into our powerhouse because you know we have a Pokemon stronger than our Mega Evolution. Obviously, we have ourselves a Stunfisk. We'll go into that. I do like the Poison Jab effect. I do like that. Um, let's just go ahead use Mud Bomb. It is a special move, so you're actually boosting the attack stat we're using. This might work out in our favor. Of course it doesn't, because my luck with Confusion is incredible. Did we just get Attract? Why are you using Attract on my Stunfisk? I mean, uh, of course you do use Attract on my Stunfisk. Um, it's beautiful. Look at that blockness. Perfect. We break through and we're in love. This this Pokemon's annoying. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, we didn't get immobilized by love. And a crit. Okay, Stunfisk doesn't care. Stunfisk doesn't care about your love. Okay? I'm the only one that gets to love this Stunfisk. Stunfisk loves me. Okay? Not your Nidorino. Me. I want this Stunfisk. We have a healthy relationship. What? This can't be. Oh, but it can. Don't underestimate the power of me and my Stunfisk. I raise it with the utmost care. A child like you could never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. He didn't have a Mega. Why couldn't you make one side... The Mega Brace, that one side, the Silph Scope, like... I'm gonna stop complaining. Uh, we have ourselves a Mega Brace, look. That's all that matters, really. That's great. The question is, do we want to swap our team around now that we have a Mega Bracelet? We do have to battle this person as well. Are you lost, you little mouse? You can call me a rat. It's fine. Oh, I'm not that bothered. It's okay. You Go ahead. You don't have to try and sense yourself with mouse. I know what you meant. It's it's fine. Um, Grimer is a Pokemon we've seen too much in this area, to be honest. Uh, Harden, that's fine. We already know what happens here. I'm just happy that we got ourselves a Mega Bracelet. Question is, who do we want to use now? Do we want to keep with Venusaur, or do we want to swap Venusaur out entirely? It has a cool move with Tom Floral and a Mega, but is it better than a different Mega? Should we? Ooh, here's a fun idea that I could genuinely do. We could swap Venusaur out at the random trade for Blastoise and then Charizard. See what their hidden move is, right? Get them leveled up and Mega Evolve those. Because we get infinite uses at it, and we can just use it as a way to, like, explore what's in the ROM hack. That, that sounds like a really good idea. I might do that in between episodes. We might go ahead, uh, get rid of, like, Poplio for Squirtle and, like, Venusaur for Charizard. Maybe we won't get rid of Venusaur for Char Actually... There's no reason why we shouldn't get rid of Venus off Charizard, because then it'll be on par with level. That might affect its moves. I will find out. We'll play about with that. For now, though, Dragon Pulse on Slazzle. I'm going to go with no. I kind of like the moves we have. The only thing I'd want is Sludge Bomb. So, we're not going to do that. We have, like, Master Plot and stuff. No real reason to swap out of all that. Uh, but let's go ahead, heal up. And actually, that took longer than I was expecting. I was thinking we might go ahead and grab ourselves the old amber this episode. We can always do that next episode. There's no rush. So, for now, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, and our little mega bracelet, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!